Hello lovely people. Welcome to James making a salad. I know it sounds weird but and it's a cycling channel but hey it's all about health at the end of the day so welcome to me making my salad and welcome to James Social Cycling. <music> is a healthy way of one using up some of the salad and veg in the fridge if it needs to be used up and two this salad will last two to three days Erin must be obeyed doesn't like it for three to four days but it will last four but anyway and it's great for just putting in the fridge and just using you can use it with your main meals you can use it as a main meal so you can use it with tuna with eggs with beef with chicken um, yeah, so great stuff. Great for putting in sandwiches, for just basically eating. All right, so I've had a question on Instagram about what I put in my salad. There's no set thing, people. Throw what you want in, but I'm gonna make one now. It usually takes me about 20 minutes, but here is what I put in. I've already started on just prepping some of the gear, but here is what I put in. So start off with you've got 200 grams of spinach this is baby Then I've got three red onions usually I'll use one big one but I need to get rid of these three I've got two carrots which I will grate I've got a little bit of cucumber I've got one two three four five six pieces of celery and this pepper needs eating. This pepper, obviously, just to add a bit of yellow into the into the mix. And these are the Romero peppers. And I have to say, when you're making this, just have a taste of each bit. But these are a pain to chop up, but they are so sweet and, and tasty. It is unbelievable. So you have to try that. All right, so that's what I'm putting in. And I will show you how I chop them up individually but I'll just cut it in all right it's not going to be a massive long video and hopefully this will give you um, some ideas on what you can do to throw in a bowl and have in the fridge for when you're hungry all right snacking on a salad's got to be a lot better than snacking on well it's not is it I was like a snack on a bit of chocolate but anyway anyway let's get let's get going so I'd say there's no real way of doing this, but for some reason, I always start with the onions. So with the onions, all you're going to need to do is just half them. And then chop them up into tiny pieces. Remember, at this moment in time, this is a vegan dish. So mind your fingers, otherwise it will become a non-vegan dish. Once you've done that, literally chuck it in the bowl. And there you have three red onions. You can use white onions just be very careful when you are chopping them up because your eyes will water and it's probably the best chance of you actually adding very much meat to the salad all right so be very careful next i'm going to chop the cucumber into around centimeter slices as far as you can go to be honest Chop that. Most not want not. So I've cut them into about centimetre slices, cut them along, and then cut them along like that. So. 
again, do the same again with the other two. Again, something I can't remember if I said, but just make sure everything has been cleaned. So I've run the tap, just the cold water tap and just given them all a wipe over. Um, and obviously the spinach was the main one that gets cleaned properly. All right. So next I'll do the yellow pepper. So the peppers like so, I will chop. Make it very easy on yourself. Instead of chopping out and getting rid of the, the centre, I will just chop out like so. And then a long ways around about five mil and the same down to just nice little dicey pieces. And I will do that with both the yellow and the red. And just finishing off the red pepper. Don't forget, just take a little piece and have a bit of a taste. Look at that for vibrant colour. Food for the soul. Food for the soul. And so I've peeled and washed the carrot. So what I will do with that is take the grater. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but then I will just The reason for doing this with the carrot, the carrot can be quite crunchy. So if you like a bit of crunch in your salad, then I would recommend just cutting it into quarters lengthways and then just slicing it. And that's what you're left with. Some nice soft carrot. in your salad. And the slicing doesn't have to be perfect, people. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm no chef. Very nice. Nice colours. Okay, these can be for a for marrow peppers are a bit of a pain. I usually chop end end and then it just goes down the line. Of this. And then what hopefully you can do is just chop the centre out. Like so. Make sure we get rid of any of the seeds. Big bit. Oh, so sweet. You can't get better than that with colour. There's loads and loads of colour in there. But after you've cleaned all your spinach 
as I said, this is baby leaf spinach. It will be wet, which is not a problem. What would you like to do? Just crunch it up into a bit of a ball. And then we're just going to chop it up. You're going to go one way. And then the other. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. All you're trying to do is chop it up. And there you have it guys and girls, a, a finished product. So there you have it. All of the peppers, onions, cucumber, spinach, celery and carrot are all mixed up in there and ready to put the lid on. And to go in the fridge. But last but not least, just so you know, I will add avocado. So when it comes to actually making the meal, I'll add the avocado and do some tomatoes on top of that as well. And I will add some beetroot. So I just chop up a bit of beetroot. And depending on what I'm having with it, I will add balsamic vinegar. And if I'm not having tuna, I will add some organic avocado oil to that as well. But with the tuna, I use olive oil that comes extra virgin olive oil that comes in the tuna pack itself with the tuna. All right, I hope you found this interesting. Hope you found it interesting. If you did, don't forget, down below, buy me a coffee. Thank you very much. Um, any questions, again, please leave in the comments. Don't forget to give me a like. Don't forget to give me a sub. And here's another video. And don't forget to hit the bell button. Then uh, at least then you'll know when I've uploaded next. All right. Lots of love, people. I'll see you on the road very soon.